It's my last week in Dubai and I'm gonna go do something special. I gotta hit the tourist stuff. So we're gonna go to the gold souk. Super excited for it. Got the backpack all packed up. Just had a good breakfast. And we're gonna say goodbye to my nice spot here for now. And we're gonna go past downtown and on the metro to the gold souk, the spice souk. And these are basically giant bazaars or shopping centers in old Dubai for some of the most affordable priced gold in the world. So we'll see what we see and might stop at the Dubai mall afterwards. I wanna go check out a couple stores and come along for the journey, let's do it. Now we are on the green line on platform three and we're gonna be heading to the gold suit. Yeah. shopping in the gold suit came across uh, some textiles as well and came up on a three-piece outfit literally you got to bring your a game if you want to make any good deals out here because in the beginning this guy wanted 300 us dollars for this three-piece outfit i got him down to 35 bucks he was almost screaming and throwing water at me when i was walking out the door but even coming down to the food you're able to negotiate on food uh, a nice little mango smoothie thrown in for free so you got to negotiate and if you do you're going to do well out here i'm going to go see if i can find a few more gifts for some family and uh, call it a day here but overall it was a really good experience i think you got to come out here and check it out at least once but like i said bring your a game be ready to negotiate do your research on the weights of any gold or silver that you want to be buying before you come here and you're going to have a lot better time and you're going to come off as a skilled person that people cannot take advantage of I'm okay. I'm almost okay. free. Almost free. Almost free. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You can also pay with credit card out here, which is really cool because I thought I was going to be screwed just having to pay with cash, but everyone has these payment processors. And a quick tip for you before you come here is upload your credit card onto your iPhone. If you have that, you can do the wallet app, upload your card, and then you can double tap the side power, like sleep mode button, double tap it. It'll pull up your card and then you can just hold your phone next to one of these payment processors that everyone has and the payment will go through and you don't even need to carry your card around. I wouldn't recommend that, always have your card as a backup, but it's really cool just to hold my phone out and make payments super easily like that. Mission complete. We came back from the gold suit, got some gifts for the fam and made it through on the skateboard. Now we're gonna hit the Metro, head back home. Wow, crazy out here.